38-year-old Avon Dugar from Louisiana has the world's largest afro, measuring a staggering four foot and four inches around. It's been 14 years since I actually went natural. At one time I strived to get the hair that was bone straight and now I want it big and poofy. And to get all the attention in public is always a positive thing because it's not like people really come up and say anything mean. Usually that's why my hair is in my face because then it, it kind of protects me and makes me feel a little more comfortable. Avon has been growing her hair since she was a child and three years ago achieved her dream of securing a Guinness World Record. The first measurement um, in 2010, I think it was four feet four inches around. I'm not sure how big it can get, but I mean, you know, I'll try as long as I can. Yeah, I never that's, a, like that's a real natural hair. Uh -huh. Damn, that's a real nice one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> With a world record under her belt, it's no surprise she attracts attention wherever she goes and has become an inspiration to others like her hairdresser, Toby Johnson. This is the greatest hair I've ever seen. It is natural and just beautiful. Pow! It's beautiful. Basically, Avon inspired me to go natural. When I saw it, I was just like, it was still big, you know? <laughs> Part of me wanted to lay in it. <laughs> Although Avon enjoys the attention her hair has brought her, taking care of it isn't an easy job. It would take a day and a half for it to dry, almost two days. Like, people think I'm joking. I remember washing my hair on a Sunday. I put it in braids, I let it dry. By Wednesday night, it was still damp. Haven has recently come out of a long-term relationship, and she worries that her hair could distract men when getting to know her. I guess it would be one of those things that, um, if I see where we're actually getting close and, you know, moving on to another level, I'd be like, oh, hey, by the way, you know, I have, really big hair. So I did tell one guy and he was shocked and then he googled me and was like oh wow this and that and he actually when I saw him again he was wearing a fur. And she's had a great response to her world record. The reaction in my hometown was actually very positive. Everybody was just so proud of me and like they kept saying you're a celebrity. I'm like do not call me that. I just have big hair. However the original inspiration for Avon's afro came when she saw a photo of her mother with one in the 60s. I am really proud and humbled by the fact that she thinks it's because she liked my natural hair way before she was born. And with her place in the record book secured, she has no plans to take a trim just yet. Do I see myself cutting my hair? No, I don't think so. Me straightening my hair wasn't going to change who I am. You know, I'm still Avon. Um, I'm still an African American. And as far as, you know, putting chemicals in my hair, what's the point? 